Good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus, looking at the US 30 stage to late recovery uh, later on in yesterday's session to stop just below uh, 17546 as most traders are waiting for tonight's FOMC statement and I'm wondering if it's going to have more of a hawkish or dovish tone uh, regarding the US dollar as more earnings uh, come out as misses, blaming the stronger US dollar removing their competitiveness in the global landscape, only Apple managing to, uh, to, to shake that kind of negative shadow uh, with record iPhone sales over Christmas with them up 5-6% in uh, post market. So as you can see there we do have a death cross there on the US 30 which from a technical perspective would normally be quite negative and we do have a flattening MACD indicative of more pressure and certainly we haven't broken 17.546 yet. Um, after coming off really strongly yesterday on the back of a very terrible durable goods um, figure which is well well below expectations but we are off the uh, session lows it was down about 300 points at one point so there has been a, a limited bit of recovery but looking at today's candle already we have been higher and we've been pushed back down so um, certainly uh, bears do seem to be in control first thing this morning so that can all change obviously depending on what happens later on in today's session with the FOMC which is due at 7 p.m. UK time and of course it's not the actual rate that people will be looking at it's a statement from the Fed uh, we'll come back to that in a second when we look at FX so the UK 100 actually the opposite um, opposite signal there you've got a golden cross on the moving averages Technical indicator is actually overbought, but not yet giving a signal to sell. Very strong um, hammer formation uh, following on from yesterday's recovery on the UK 100. Very close to challenging all-time highs on the UK 100 as growth is accelerating its fastest in seven years. Uh, as we're coming up close to uh, 6906 as that as that all-time high, and um, we've got a doji formation just now with the UK 100 flattening out as we uh, just enter into the start of the UK session. So that will certainly be one to watch, especially if we break to fresh all-time highs in the background of that quantitative easing. Um, to, by, by the ECB as well, which would certainly help uh, propel the Eurozone, our biggest partners out there, uh, and back into life. So looking at the Japan 225, uh, decent move to the upside right here, breaking above 17,496, still eyeing up 18,306 with dollar yen, quite volatile, it's down one minute up the next. I don't think um, the dollar really knows exactly what it's doing, but it should have a better idea after today's session. Most of the technical indicators quite neutral, MACD is more positive than negative, um, and you know certainly we are coming close to shorter potential, uh, shorter term potential resistance, just below eighteen thousand. Uh, we might get there later on today, depending on how the macro data comes out. And there is a fair amount of information still to come out, uh, including the crude oil inventories. We'll come back to that in one second. So looking there at dollar yen, uh, death cross moving averages, flattening of the MACD. Most other technical indicators are neutral. Uh, depending how, they, how that FOMC comes out tonight, if they don't really change any rhetoric, that would be seen as a dollar positive. Um, but there are some commentators that think there might be more of a, of a dovish tone to try and soften the strength of the US dollar. Uh, it's all about are they likely to increase interest rates uh, towards the end of the year rather than summer, which many commentators are um, kind of debating right now. Especially when you see our earnings come in as they as they are slightly disappointing, uh, but the formations here on dollar yen is indicative of the fact that this could go lower. Um, but all depends on the on the fundamentals, so we should, we should know more by later on today. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, uh, still looking weak, still bouncing around forty five dollars. Uh, crude elementary today could be the thing that tips it up or or pings it higher. Uh, that's due at three thirty UK time, uh, and there's been some uh, some big numbers coming out of the inventories the last couple of weeks with much higher than expected figures and they're expecting about 4 million barrels extra in storage we'll get an idea about that later on today so gold actually had a decent rebound yesterday um, surprising quite quite a few uh, but unable to break above $1,300 so it still seems to be the big pivot on, on yellow metal so moving on to euro dollar decent bounce yesterday again we have not really followed through with it that, that much this morning uh, probably not going to be a huge amount of activity before the FOMC statement tonight. Uh, that is going to be keenly watched. Remember that's at 7 p.m. UK time, so there'll be many traders waiting for that statement to come out. It's usually a pre-prepared statement, so it will, it will uh, come across the news wires live at the same time. Uh, and there'll be, there could be a fair amount of volatility dependent on the language that is, uh, that is utilized. And um, if there is more hawkish, bullish dollar um, rhetoric on there, you could see a decent move on your dollar and obviously vice versa. So moving on to cable, cable actually had a really good day yesterday in the back of those growth forecasts. Um, 
bouncing around one spot 5185 potential resistance has remained in place for pretty much the whole of uh, 2015 um been interesting to see if we can follow through with that a break a break and close above that and the 21 period sma would allow us to rechallenge one spot 5424 so we've already talked much about the economic data due out later on today make sure you've got your alarm set for the fomc uh, but remember, it's not just the decision, it's also the statement. And then fast forward on to tomorrow, you've got German unemployment rates, and you've got uh, CPI, uh, and American uh, unemployment claims, and their housing index data. And let's just finish off a Friday there as well. You've got German retail sales, uh, Eurozone CPI and unemployment data, and GDP uh, coming out of the US. So a fair amount of uh, fundamental data to round up the end of the weekend. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.